Welcome to this look at new mods on Farming Simulator 22 with me, Mr. Silly P. It's the 27th of April. We've got new mods. We've got one update. The, uh, sorry, Le Campagne pack by Valentin Lecou and Nico Du55 has had an update in front of me. We have got the John Deere 825 by Rooster Mods and 46 Mods. 5.2 megabytes download, 6 slots on console. It's a 4.6 metre weeder. I don't normally run weeds. I did when I was doing precision farming, but if you're looking for a mechanical weeder, this may be the thing you're after. Really nicely detailed. You'll find it, as you might expect, under weeders, which I've got to find. There we go. 5,250, so not too expensive either for a 4.6 metre, and requires 50 horsepower. You can have uh, no warning equipment. You can have the triangle. You can have reflector strips or res reflector strips and triangle. And then you've got guide quarters, yes or no. You don't have to have those on if you don't want to. There's not much point in me running it because I haven't got any weeds, but it will take out your weeds mechanically until they reach a point where they're too big and then you need herbicides anyway because the mechanical weeder won't then remove them. So there we go. The John Deere 825 by Rooster Mods and 46 Mods. Next up, we've got this. This is the Lizard Stack 450 and EST Matic 300. This is by Senior Vertex and Teak Modding. 8.48 uh, megabytes download, 8 slots on console, 5.2 metre subsoiler. Now, usually, this is a generic general statement, usually a subsoiler will give you a ploughed state, so if your fields need ploughing you can use a subsoiler, but it usually gives you a cultivated look. Now this one's got basket rollers on the back as well, so I assumed, yeah of course it will, but luckily for once I tested it. It actually just gives you a ploughed look. Um, which, yeah, regardless, uh, you'll find it under subsoilers. So there. 20 grand for a 5.2 metre, which isn't too bad. That's a, that's pretty big, actually. But anyway, um, now, there aren't two different types. It, I, I thought there was different versions. It's literally it just changes the decals on the side. Nothing else I can see changes on there. The Stack 450 or the EST Matic... 300 although it's 50 pounds euros or dollars more for those decals than those decals then we can change the main colors anything on that palette like that if you wish requires 240 horsepower which was interesting because i bought our tractor with it one of the ones that's modded today which had 360 horsepower and it was really struggling to pull it so anyway we'll drop it down and we'll go forward and as you'll see we are getting a ploughed look as well as a ploughed state, even though it's got the basket roller on the back. Uh, that's just breaking up the larger clods type thing. That's kind of the point behind it. But there we go. Just watch again some of the bits here. The movement at the front. I don't know if you can see those. Every now and again, got a bit of movement on the wheels. A little bit of a twist, just to give it a bit, an extra bit of animation. Um, there we go. That's the Lizard uh, Stack 450 and EST Matic 300 by Senior Vertex and Teak Modding. Next, I think we'll go with this. This is the Lizard Fuel Safe, 0 0.89 megabytes download, two slots on console, 1,700 litre capacity. It's by North Modding Company. It's for your forestry or anything, really. I mean, they, they deal predominantly in forestry, forestry equipment. Um, it's got the bar across the top, a lot of the fuel safes and stuff we've had in the past, the grabs on the forwarders, crane grabs, those kind of things, are what they, they grab onto that bar. Lift it up for transport. This one has the addition of a three-point link, so you can put it on a tractor as well. Uh, once it's hooked onto a three-point link, you can then go and fill it up, and then you can either transport it on the three-point link, or you can do it with a crane arm, or you can put it onto a trailer and strap it down. That's entirely up to you. You'll find it under tools and miscellaneous just there three grand slot count will come down it was only two anyway to one and we can change the main color to anything on that palette uh this is probably not the tractor to be doing this with <laughs> um but anyway it will show you at least once it's full i don't think this is going to work but this is going to tip this right up but if we go to here we should have the refill option 
There we go. We are refilling with diesel. That tractor's going to start to tip, I would imagine. So from any fuel source, wherever it may be, and then once you, uh, you're you good to go, you can either take it on the three-point link or you can put it onto something else and transport it. And when you get where you're going, put it down wherever you want, whether it be in the forest or somewhere on your map that often you find you're running out of fuel, and you can go and collect it from there when required. The Lizard Fuel Safe by North Modding Company. Next, we've got these. Now, I so put think I'm going to put for the thumbnail today surprising new mods. There's some good surprises in that so things I weren't wasn't expecting to be as good as they were are. There's one thing that's not as good as I was hoping it was going to be, and I think it might just be a glitch or a problem with the coding. Um, and it's and I am gutted, not, not sometimes so I'm really disappointed. I'm not disappointed, I'm, I'm gutted. You'll see why. Anyway, this is cool as well. This is, again, surprising. I'm, I'm really impressed with this. This is the Lizard Timber Carrier. That sounds really pretentious. I didn't mean it to come across like that. 1.01 um, .01 megabytes download, two slots on console, also by North Modding Company. And it's these. This Timber Carrier frame It's designed for uh, wheel loaders. And it's basically a wheel loader attachable log frame. And the great thing about these, you can you know, put them wherever you want, fill them up with logs, you don't have to have anything else there with it, fill it up whenever you want to, then come and get it with your wheel loader. Um, you can put them onto trailers, they'll strap down, so you can have a normal flatbed trailer, you don't necessarily have to have a log-in trailer, and then you, you put them on, you can strap them down, you can strap the logs down within them, you don't have to have the logs this long on them, of course, as well. Now, it does show here... It looks like a forklift truck will be able to pick them up. I tried and I could not get the forks to go in there. I tried two different forklift trucks. I tried opening and closing the, the forks to, and I, I could not get that to work. So that may be just for looks rather than actual operational um, ability. But these you will find under... It's under wheel loaders of forestry. I think it might be forestry equipment. Yeah, on the end. So it's only a grant. So let's like say, rather than spending however much, if you've already got a low load or you've got a flatbed trailer or a bale trailer that you're already using for other things, rather than having to buy a separate um, timber trailer, which might cost you 20, 30, 40 grand, for a grand a pop on these. But the great thing is, I know I said wheel loader. So you've got wheel loader. You can have attachment one side, attachment the other side, or both sides. So makes it easier you can come at it from either side of them to keep driving around it to get to the side you want again you don't have to you can add just one side if you want uh main color does the base and then design color does i always say stanchions i know there's a word for it and, and i always forget it I, I need post it's all around my screen all the words and phrases and all the things that i keep forgetting that people tell me and then the next time i come to a review i think oh what was it again i want to say it begins with p but i Maybe not. Anyway, I digress somewhat. Um, what I also kind of thought, while I was filling this up, obviously when they're much, uh, when they're much fuller, when you've got much more in them, you might need a rear weight on your wheel loader. That's only a small wheel loader as well. It's not one of the big ones. Um, but your ability to pick it up, load it, whatever you want to do. What I was doing as well, when I was loading onto it using another tool, I tipped it like that and put it like that on the wheel loader. Because it just made it a little bit easier um, using um, something else to put into it. You could kind of roll the logs in. And then once they're in, you know, or when you've got more and more in there, you just gradually tilt it back and tilt it back. I mean, you can do it any way you want. It's, of course you can. That's in touch you. But, yeah, I think that's it. It's a brilliant bit of kit. Very versatile. Very useful. Um, there's, there's, there's definitely a place for it, I think, personally. You may not agree, and if you don't do logging, you may not agree with that, and you may not think it's any good at all. <laughs> but I do. That's what counts on my mod reviews, isn't it? Anyway, that's the Lizard Timber Carrier by North Modding Company. Uh, next, we're going to go to here. This was the one I was absolutely buzzing about. Um, this is by Mantrid, and it's the Lightweight it's very clever. And what I like about Mantrid and all the mods Mantrid brings out is Mantrid's sense of humour in the descriptions as well is absolutely phenomenal. Um, and it does say, with Hella's Ultra Beam LED Gen 2 lighting, you'll be able to work at night with these. It's hella good lighting. So I was going to call the thumbnail today, hella good mods, because, you know, why wouldn't you? So this is basically one weight that's hugely configurable with various different light options and things like that. 
and we have this in FS19, and this is the revised version of. I like the fact that on this side, on the side you can have the larger writing. So if you, you're looking for a particular weight in amongst your inventory of weights, if you've got a load, you can see nice and clear as you're driving up, if you've got a few different weights of different sizes, which ones they are, which I think is brilliant. This can attach both sides. So this is one of the weights now that will attach to telehandlers, wheel loaders, skid steer loaders, you name it, three-point link for tractors and those kind of things. You can attach it either side as a weight. If you attach it as a three-point link weight, that trailer hitch will still work. So if you want to hook other gear on, if you've got it on the back, you can still hook trailers onto that. Sometimes weights trying out underneath and onto the three-point links, it doesn't always work particularly well. Um, and then there's all the light configurations. There's beacons. This will go from a 100 kilo weight, which is that one there, up to a 3,000 kilo, I think it is, which is absolutely bonkers. Plus... Finally, this thing, the JCB, which is a pain with regard to finding weight because nothing will attach to it, this one does. So we've now got a weight that will attach to the JCB telehandler, which makes life a little bit easier. Actually, I'm going to continue. I'll hook up to that with that one. And then I'm going to hook up to this with this one. I'll have a look at the options in just a second. I've just realised actually the tractors I'm going to look at. I've got a few options, so I need to speed things along. So I'm getting a little bit chatty. I just wanted to show one hooked up with the trailer hitch, one hooked up three-point link. Uh, so you'll find them under weights. There it is. 300 for the base model. So you can have one, no lighting, just the weight. You can have standard, which has lighting front, rear, and side. You can have front only lighting, front and side, back only, back and side, no side, so it's just front and rear, or back to no lighting again. 100 kilo, then I say all the way up to a whopping 3,000 kilo. Oh no, it goes further. 3,500, sorry. 3,500 kilo weight. I think one of the pictures on the mod tub shows it like lifting a lorry or something. It's crazy. Um, now, lighting shadows, yes or no? It does say if you are having any problems, casting shadows may adversely affect game performance on some systems, including consoles. If you experience poor frame rates or stability issues, please reconfigure the shadows off in the shop. So you might want to turn lighting shadows off, which I've done for one of them and not one of the others. Then you've got beacon none, and then we've got a whole lot of different beacon options. That one's quite an interesting one, like a fishbowl type thing. Uh, right the way through to design nine, and then off again then back decals is what i was talking about at the moment we've got standard or you can have large so you can like say so you can see when you come up to it uh main color and um, we've got a whole plethora of chromy metallic and then a more flat colored option for each of those uh design color does all the bolts attachments and those kind of things turn those actually i want to turn those color will stand out there you go um and then i am having real trouble with this some reason there we go clicking on to the last option which is the telescopic color which we can change again to anything on that palette there's chrome ones you see the telescopic bits there so those are all the options here's the problem if i open this menu start up the tractor and we'll start it up lights on now it doesn't matter if i go for example with this one if you've got front and rear lights, when you turn your lights on, it will it works out, it knows which end of the vehicle it's on, and it will only put on the lights to start off with that are facing away. It doesn't put them all on, which we'll see in a moment. But if I turn those on front and side, we get the option to rotate lights, so I can swing the lights around, which is cool. So if you've only got the front or the rear ones, you can swing them around either way if you put it on the front or rear or something. If you've gone for them all round, it doesn't really matter either way. We can raise and lower the weight, and here's where I'm surprised and gutted. These are telescopic lights. So those lights on those telescopic arms are supposed to come right the way out like big old stalk eyes to give you much better lighting for what you're doing. On PlayStation, at least, on my console, I've got no option. I can't find... I've been through every button configuration I can think of. I've looked at under my L1, my R1, L1, R1... I've tried loads of button configurations that aren't on those. I can't get the telescopic lights to telescope at all. I've tried all sorts. I can raise and lower and I can rotate the lights. 
so I thought maybe it's because I've I leased them so I've got some leased and I bought one so that's rented that one's owned so I bought it still haven't got an option uh, the first one I got was this one I thought maybe it's because it's got all of the lights um, so I bought that one that only had two lights I bought that one that's only got one set of lights still nothing so for some reason and I don't know if you're having the same problem or not you're getting the options come up then I thought well, maybe it's because I've got it attached three point link maybe I need to have it that way around so on this one side up lights on you notice as well when you put the next set of lights on it does the ones that are facing that way but there we go and again, I can rotate them, although it doesn't matter with these ones. It's different with the telehandler as well, because we've got the boom. So if you suddenly look and think, oh no, look, there's the options. That's not, that's for the boom. So again, I can toggle the lights. I can rotate them, but I can't get them to telescope. We have got the beacon on the back there. That one I went for has got the, the smaller flashing beacon. I mean, even if you say to yourself, okay, I'm not bothered about them telescoping. The lighting on them is phenomenal. The option to have that really big is great. The fact it attaches to the JCB and wheel loaders and telehandlers and skid steer loaders is fantastic. So that alone, as far as I'm concerned, the mod's brilliant. I'm just gutted I can't get them to telescope and it might be something I've missed, but I know people will comment and say, did you try? I've tried everything I can think of. Um, although I'm sure someone will comment and I'll think, ah, oh, yeah, I didn't try that. Who knows? So, that's the light weight by Mantrid. Next, we've got these. Uh, this is the Lizard T25A and T30A80 by Wisnia Games 239. 25.2 megabytes, 25.2 or 25.3, doesn't really matter, 25.2 or 3 megabytes download. 14 slots each, we've got a two-wheel drive version and a four-wheel drive version. Diddy little tractor, that one's 30 horsepower, that one's 32 horsepower. Absolute beasts. But the configurations on them are great. They look fantastic. These are ones where you've just got, you know, you've got the engine transmission and you're just sat on the top of everything. No transmission tunnel, you're just plonked on the top of everything else, but they're very cool. You find them under small tractors. We'll start with the T25A, only nine grand for a whopping 30 horsepower. We've got nothing for design option. You've got a work lamp one. Work clamp two or both work clamps on the back. Cabin, you can have without, you can have with, you can have a peaked cabin, you can have the sort of framed in with no windows, and then back to without. Hook old, that's on the back, so you've got the old hook design for attaching or a new trailer hitch. You've got a gearbox, old and new, just puts a different little gear stick on there. Weights, you can have without, we can have weight one, two, three, and four, or back off again. Wheel set up, we've got standard. Slightly larger front tyre, slightly larger rear tyre, both. Only slightly. I do love the fact the seat bounces when you do that as well, that's quite cool. Their main colour, various autumnal colours I think we'll call them, does the main body. The next one down does the sort of chassis area, we'll go for a grey so it stands out underneath there. Uh, and then we've got the rim colour, we've got a silver and a silver two, which is slightly darker, more mottled silver, then a selection of other sort of ivories and greens and things like that i personally prefer the silvers but that's just me uh, and then license plate option as well uh, the t30a80 options are exactly the same they are identical it's just 32 horsepower um pretty sure work lamps it's, it's all exactly the same uh even with colors rim color everything um weights as far as i can remember yep it's all exactly the same cab was the same yeah. So, let's hop on this one. <laughs> I love it. Rear work lamp, slightly yellowed as well, that yellow light. You know, they're old lights. First person. Look at that. Rolling coal with our 30 horsepower. What a beastie. <laughs> it's brilliant. And then the 32 horsepower. I'm sure you can, you 
can already tell the difference in engine sound. Uh, all the rods, look. The rods and levers and all the stuff working. The attention to detail under there, all of that is incredible. So as I'm putting my foot on the pedal, you can see it all moving underneath. It's brilliant. Surprising. That's what I mean. You know, you, you look at the mod initially and you think, oh, you know, it's a 30 to 32 horsepower tractor. It's cool, it looks nice. But then when you start sort of delving a bit deeper and you think, wow, that's amazing, that looks incredible. But no doors or windows or anything open. Horn, and then our lights. Very cool. The T25A and the T3880 by Wisnia Games 239. Next we've got, again, surprising, I'll say. Um, this is the 1120 series by Senior Vertex and ZT Modding. It's 24.23 megabytes download, 19 slots on console. You'll find it on the medium tractors. Same tractor, just different configurations. I do love that tire, the knobbly tires on there. Amazing. Not too expensive either, with a ton of options. So, yeah, I'm not sure how I'm going to go about this, but medium tractors. 1120. 50 grand is your base model. Goes up to 360 horsepower. Um, and that's what I used to try and pull that subsoiler that only requires 240, and it just it didn't want to pull it. So we've got standard uh, 840 litre fuel tank. So additional tank, you can have a round tank on there, which takes you 940 litres of fuel, or a square tank, which takes you to 1,040 litres of fuel, or no. We've got trailer bulk, BKT, Continental, Midas, Michelin, Lizard, back again. There's quite a few options within all of these, various different setups. I won't read them all out, but like some dumped before... BKT. It's quite surprising how within one tyre company set, there are so many different sizes. I mean, like, the tiny ones are really tiny, you know? Continental. That's a nice tread. I like that. Midas. Michelin, that's cool. That's the one I liked, the one I chose. I just like that tire tread. Lizard. Now, this is the one that's got rice tires and those kind of things as well. So, we've got rice tires, double rice, different rice, double rice, crawler track. That was right. That really threw me. That was the surprise. I was like, well, I wasn't expecting that. That even more so. Transport tyres for putting on trailers and stuff like that. It just looks so weird like that. It's really bizarre. Um, anyway, and then back to trailer board. Uh, lights, we've got standard. LED bar, cab headlights, cab headlights and LED bar. LED headlights, LED headlights kit, LED headlights kit and LED bar kit. And back to standard. Antenna, no. Antenna only, and then you've got the Y that goes for Antenna PX. Uh, glass standard, medium film or dark film tint. Front protection grid. I'm going to say grid. It's a battering ram. If you want it, accessories. Let's turn it off. Accessories, no. Now we've got a few different ones. Outdoor toolbox. We've got a water reservoir. We've got a thermal bottle inside, or all of those. Attaches. Standard or three-point link on the back. Then we've got interior, we've got our fire extinguisher, goes in there at the back there. You can see that red popping in there. We've got toolbox, toolbox and fire extinguisher, or no. Horns, no horn. Horn one, horn two, double horn. Engine setup, 230 horsepower, 280 horsepower, 320 horsepower, 360 horsepower. 360 horsepower adds 10 grand on. So for 60 grand, you've got a 360 horsepower tractor. That's impressive. Uh, monitors and Starfire, no Green Star 4, Starfire 3000, Starfire 6000 or off. Main colour, whole load of different greens, some sort of satins and metallics and various different ones. And, but it changes um, the main colour and the rims. So if you've got crawler tracks on there, it does both. You can't have a different rim colour to the main colour, which is interesting. 
Um, I haven't got the additional tank on there, but additional tanks, weirdly, you've got all those colour choices for the additional tank, but not a rim colour option, which surprised me. All those metallics, eight different metallics for the, the um, additional tank. But anyway, let's hop in this one, because this is bonkers. <laughs> now, it might be just the configuration I've got. If I go through my light options, those come on. My LED bar doesn't. So the LED bar, I don't know if it would work if you just got the LED bar with none of the other lights, but that, whether or not I'm getting the light from it, but it doesn't appear to be lighting up there. Double horn doing its thing. Uh, we don't have, um, what have we got? The door is, um, that is honestly crazy. But I like it. It's kind of cool as well. Uh, R1 and right stick side to side. And on the back, if we go L1, R1, and right stick up and down, that draw bar on the back, we can extend. So you can either extend to hook up and then draw it back in, or if the implement you're pulling is too close to the back of your tractor for turning and stuff like that, you can just push it out a bit further to give yourself a better turning circle. Usually, as far as I'm aware, it's used for hooking up. And once you've hooked up so you can see it, because when you're in the cab, normally... Oh, mind you, I've got the tank in the way that doesn't help either. Yeah, normally you can't see the bar, so you extend it, hook up, and then pull the bar back in. Um, it's crazy. It's crazy. Oops, I should have done that. Just clouted the telehand I'm going to use. Interior, we're very, everything seems much bigger. If you look at the person inside, me, and then we're inside, it all seems much bigger. Everything's really close up. But... Yeah, 360 horsepower for 60 grand. Obviously, the tracked one is a bit more zany. Uh, we do have a beacon on top. This one went for the smaller tank and a few different options, and that lovely, those lovely tyres. Obviously, that's more conventional than the crawler track, but there you go. So, that's the 1120 series of by Senior Vertex and ZT modding. And then bring me on to the last of the mods for today, and it's a pack. This again surprised me. This is the Robert, Robert Roberts <laughs> Forks pack. Uh, this is by uh, ETA La Marchoise, 43.13 megabytes download. And again, I looked and thought, great, another set of forks. We've got loads of forks. Do we really need any more? But hold ye horses because these are very very versatile they look fantastic i mean aside from the fact that the detailing on them they look incredible there's quite a few in this pack they do look very very good very well made these ones especially i mean bonkers it looks like some kind of torture device but wow um so we will go to you will find them under tools and they run the telehandler tools if we scroll across, now we've got the PB110, PB110 with the two additional forks. Now these will go up, PB180, it's just a different height. So these, for all intents and purposes, are, I say, identical. They do the same job, they just take different amounts of bales. So all of these as well have the option of telehandler, wheel loader, skid steer loader, front loader, JCB specific, or back to telehandler again. Main colour changes the front section at the moment that's black, you can have all blue. And that's the same on all of them. There's a couple of other little options. So the PB110s, the PB180s, the PB290 is what I've gone for. The PB290 is the biggest one. And I've got the PB290 with additional forks. Slot counts are fours, fives, and sixes for the respective pairs going up. We've then got the PBR. The PBR is four slots the pbu is four slots then we've got the fb160 fb200 those are three slots each now that's now again surprised me it's a round barrel grab great uh the pbu now that reminds me of and i can't remember the name of it we had it on fs17 i think it was um we've got that it says ball stopper i think it means bale stopper but again, all the different telehandler and attacher types. Then this one, we can have additional forks on that one or not. And that one just comes as it is. But let's have a look at them in operation. You'll see, you'll see what I mean about them being incredibly useful. Because when you look at that, first of all, 
R1 and right stick side to side opens that up. Now that looks to me, that's the round bales. It's a round bale grab. And without any shadow of a doubt, it's a round bale grab. So, and this is what I mean about it, it really surprised me because I, may, I think having that many was probably too many. But I did get it to work, so let's level that out. Push that into there. Let's open that out so we can go into there. Hit that onto there, close it up, and bang. We've got our round bales, it's doing its job. No problem at all, absolutely fantastic, but it's more versatile than that. If I drop those down again, open that back up again. Make sure we're right off there. Because if we now come to our square bales, it doesn't just do round bales, it does square bales as well. And it does them really well. I, I it really, like I say, it surprised me. That is the word of this le uh, this mod review. Now, admittedly, I've come in at a real terrible angle there, haven't I? Let's back out a little bit, try and get on that a little bit straighter. I want to do it justice. There we go. And then close them. Close up against the square bale. So square all round bales, and it does the job. It works really well. I'm very impressive. I like the design of it, I like the look of it, I like the way it's made. It's, it, it's fantastic. I'm going to disconnect from that. Now this one, the round bale grab. Now, it has a little trick up its sleeve as well. The round bale grab, if you look, as soon as I move that, you notice the arms are swinging around. Normally they're fixed for a round bale grab. The beauty with that being, look, um, it doesn't have to just be for round bales because they're not fixed normally they close and they close around the curve of a round bale because they can move they will close round and they will clamp onto a square bale too so you can lift square bales with it as well so if, you, if you're just going to get one you don't have to get one for round bales and then bale spikes for square bales it will do both again, really surprised me I was not expecting that very cool. Um, this one, Tanko. Is it Tanko? Tarko? Ah, oh, it was yellow, wasn't it? An FS17. It was something like that. Was it an Irish company? So this one, again, that's cool. Um, so you think straight away, well, that's for square bells, isn't it? Yeah, you can do round bells. Now, I'll be honest, it doesn't like it so much. It will do them. I, you can't go far. I found as I started to move, the bale did start to slip out. So it's not... It's not really designed for um, round bales. It is designed for square bales, of which I'm going to go and grab one off here. Um, and it's great, especially if you're doing silage bales and you want to go for a bit more realism and you don't want to pierce the wrap on the silage bales and that kind of thing. I know people sometimes they, they can be very, you know, you're going to ruin the bales kind of thing. And that's what these things are for. So you don't do that damage to the bale. Can't tell a bale. Give it a squeeze, just a little hug. Where we go. I like them a lot. I, I, I think this set's brilliant. Like, like I say, it, it was kind of that initial thing of, okay, we, we've got more more bale spikes and stuff, but do we really need them? I, I think this is a really cracking set. And the last one, I think I went for the, the um, FB200, the larger one. If we hook up to that, R1 and right stick side to side, we can raise and lower that. So if you've got more bales, it does say it does up to three bales. I think I did I bring three out or did I bring four? I think I brought three out. Um, and this is just your stand this is more of a standard bale spike, which is kind of what you'd expect. Um, but there you go. It does the job, it does the job well, it's a good pack. Really like it. So I'm not gonna say the word again. No disrespect to Mantrid, I really do mean that. I'm gutted, not disappointed. And if anyone has worked out on PlayStation what that button is, whether it's just, I don't know, could be a mod clash, could be a coding thing, could need an update, I'm not too sure. But anyway, uh, that's it for the mods for today, the 27th of April. I hope you found this useful and informative in some way, shape or form. If you have, please give us a like. If you don't subscribe yet, please do. If you want to leave a comment, feel free. And if you want to share this video, then please be my guest. Whatever you should choose to do, Thanks for watching.